Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for um, joining us at Bloom Arts this uh, wonderful Saturday morning. Um, my name is Joseph Ogbeide. I'll be moderating this session. This session is all about our dear friend here, uh, Mr. Raji, and um, his new uh, his exhibition on his new body of um, work. Um, I will just allow him to introduce himself first, and then we can get into uh, state of things so cool good morning everyone yeah thank you for being here my name is Raji Mohamed Baba Tinde um, a visual artist for has been practicing for a while now I know some would say that um, practicing for 10 years is not a while but to me I still feel like it's just the beginning and there's still more and I appreciate you all for taking your time out this artist talk this one thank you so thank you very much um, so I will start by saying I, I um, saw the catalog when the um, exhibition was announced and I noticed three things off the bat one was we had a lot of um, new figurative works one and there was some abstract stuff which is a um, relatively new for at least I've been following your work for like eight years now and I just started to see some abstract works like last year and then coming into that I was like okay is Raji up to something new um, is this like a new direction we should be seeing more of in the future and then I also noticed the sketches I am, I'm a big fan of drawings wow. uh, because I think that um, drawings are um, one of the most honest ways of reminding yourself of what your act your app practice is all about um, so I will um, sort of break this talk into those three things one we'll talk about the new work first then we'll talk about the abstract stuff and then we'll talk about the drawings which I think is the, the foundation of yeah. uh, of, um, of anyone's practice so I, I have a couple of questions that had, um, sort of bounced with you but I would um, start from this um, first one so like this new body of work I have noticed a couple of things but I'll ask those questions later so can you just share with us the inspiration the ideation and um, what this um, connecting dots uh, is is all about okay thank you um, the new body of works I titled them in a series of connecting dots they have to do with my experiences growing up the things I love the things I wanted or the things I craved for when I was growing up but I didn't have them because of environment constraints and thinking of even when I started working the first time I had an experience of having flowers around me I decided to play with them and my younger sister took a picture of me holding one and looking at the picture I think that was after the lockdown looking at the picture and I feel like okay, I think I I can I can do something with this because of the light. And you know, I know a lot of people here are conversant with me, illumination series and and the um, the play of light around my paintings. And okay, this play of light, I think, and I I can do something with it. But I just let it slide. In months after seeing that picture, I said, okay, I think I can do something from this. Series, but I don't know how. And I know I have, um, I love painting women and children and I know that you, d you know that as well, that I love painting women and children, yeah. but okay, how do I tell the story, the story about what I craved for when I was growing up yeah. and until, until last year, middle of last year and I decided to get a model and having time for my wife, she decided, okay, we have to get flowers at home and boom, I said, we have to do something with this and I asked the model and look, going through the pictures there I was like wow irrespective of me not painting flowers before I need to take this as a challenge yeah, yeah. and that was really the idea from the first one we move on, I moved on to the second one okay wow I have to expand this this yeah. I think I showed the first one to Suguma she was like wow this is something different yeah. this is something um, people don't you people don't know you with you have to do something about and then I just okay, I have to put the body of works to get that. And 
tell this my story because people okay but we have more of the women holding the flower why didn't you have a male figure in between them to say i know because of times and it started and i have a sketch of myself i yeah. produced that sketch of myself holding the flower yeah. imagine if i had the time i would have submitted it it yeah. would have been exhibited say, okay this idea for this exhibition the yeah. connecting dot came from this particular huh? sketch yeah okay. that's how the it works works. okay so interestingly um you've said something that um uh, sort of uh, strikes a chord with me which is when you think about so you've you're connecting the dots coming forward right and um now okay you ha you received this flower and you started thinking of I, I should be able to do something with this but if you go back and this is just me maybe posing a question to you now like if you go back for that down the line i think anyone who's sort of had some sort of art school training still life right it's to me it's like okay you're going back to that thing that you almost you didn't say anything about that but me listening to you now i'm thinking everyone goes back to when you're starting to paint or to draw one of the first things that is given to you is they're, they're flowers you're, you're told to paint plants mm. and um uh, or paint plants and before you even go on to portraiture so would you say it's like sort of this is like taking you back to an interaction with the basis of like anyone's art practice which i also think is the basis of your own practice mm. that you have not had the time to sort of interrogate mm. and then how is that sort of um, if i'm if my question is right yeah. which is what i think i hope yeah. it is yeah there is a how, how is like because like you're connecting the dot back to wait i'm coming back to the foundation of my own practice i'm starting to see things not beyond the technical training mm. point mm. and how do i now like elevate this to a narrative of some sort so i would say the question i'm trying to ask is did that bring you back to a point of i'm home from a technical point of view um yeah i'm having this beginner's feeling once more yeah. and then the, the sort of invigoration into your your process if, if that was something that happened it would be interesting okay to hear. um i will help i would like to point this out in um um because i do the, the introduction i didn't uh, mention my um, my formal training okay uh, and it is about having formal training yeah. during my formal i was trained as an art educator that's interesting not a full-time like the way it's been like you're being trained as an artist, artist. i've been trained more of as a teacher okay both uh, my um nc level and my it's more of, and we we're told yeah. like look we are not training you guys as professional yeah. artists we are training you guys as teachers and all through my training for once i was never asked to paint the flower wow and it's shocking yeah that's interesting. i was it's it's it's, it's, it's yeah. very funny i was never asked to paint a flower that's why i told you that i found it like it was a challenge yeah because something you've not you were not told to you, you were not told to yeah paint. there was no exercise given to i know there were other classes but yeah. i always find that why is there like an exemption mm. and now coming back to the other question it's more like coming home home because this apart from you can you are being able to paint the flowers the way mm -hmm. they are it's the message connecting with what you feel mm -hmm. what i've been what i've been um yearning for craving for mm -hmm. like and you know it's okay is it only flowers you were craving for when you were your, yeah, you you know yeah. we we're having the discussion yeah, that yeah. there are a lot of things that we way back that we have now that when it's available way back and we use apples for example, for example yeah. in 94 95 96 97 there were certain places you only see real apple and in most kitchens you even now find plastic apples apple, yeah. and even that plastic apple is being found in certain yeah. houses yeah. unlike now whereby you walk anywhere you see real apple people hawking apples on the street so these things were the things that we only saw in movies I'm like, oh wow, children playing with these things over there. Mm. Can't we have, can't, no, I'm not even saying, can't I even play with this, yeah. these um, things over here? Mm. But, yeah, interesting. They are, no, they are, they are not, uh, like, because of environment yeah. constraint. 
Okay, cool. Uh, so I, I wanted to um, ask one question. So okay. um, this body of work is totally different from almost everything I had seen from Raji before, which is most of his works are usually interiors. Like the person is in a dark room and then there's the entire oh, like nice. play with lights nice. and basic chiaroscuro sort of um, um, works. And then everything here, you're, you're getting one, we're starting to see the portraits on the outside. Yep. And then we're also starting to see these figures in more detailed interiors. Um, and when I looked through the works, I noticed two things. Um, the paintings that were outside had a um, feeling, the flowers, which is really funny now. So there's this um, interaction between the figures and the plants, right? And the interaction on the outside, and I mean, the work is here for everyone to see. When those characters are outside and they're engaging with the plants, they look lonely. That's the feeling I get. And when this character, so you can, I mean, you, there's this, you can see the person is expecting something. I don't know what the person is expecting. Is the person grieving? Is the person waiting for a loved one to return to them? Has the person received this in a gloomy sort of setting? And then when you look at the works that are inside, the person seems to be more in control of their environment. So it will be interesting to know, um, one, I mean, this is me <laughs> interpreting the work. So it will be interesting to know what the uh, move, first of all, from your previous, uh, what has been like the mainstay of your previous body of work, which is, you don't get to see in clear details what's going on in the, in the background. background, but the the figure is at the fore, and then the figure is either you know trying to one is engaging with light in a way that shows that uh, I mean I've heard previous narrations which was hope you know coming out of darkness because of yeah. the sort of environment that well, we are yeah. in. But now we're seeing these figures starting to own their own space. So it will be interesting one to see um, what has informed this move to more like detailed um, and backgrounds, both from an interior and exterior perspective. And then we can now go to the other question of um, if my assumption is correct. <laughs> so it will be good to, um, to listen. Okay, I'll, I'm going to start in terms of the, the uh, move from the more of the blank backgrounds or the less detailed backgrounds mm -hmm. to the more detailed backgrounds. Mm -hmm. uh, the, in terms of life is a process mm -hmm. and the um, change, you have a lot of changes that happen within everything that has to do with everything that has to do with life. It, when I started out with the illumination series, I only focused on, I, m I mostly focused on the figures, the clothes, the face, the light. I don't even give any um, to the background. And it was someone that pointed me to it that said, apart from this, there is like, apart from the figure, mm -hmm. the main character, mm -hmm. I think there should be a play of life in the background. And I was like, okay, wow, I think this is something I need to introduce to my works. Mm -hmm. And with that, I started out adding the um, background softly so as not to distract the main character. Mm -hmm. But now, I've progressed from that level of the subtle background to a more defined background that doesn't take away the shine of the main figure, which is, um, and each element, each element tells a particular story because connecting each part or each element to the main figure shows that there is a, uh, uh, a symbiotic relationship between all the elements in the painting because man can't walk alone. Yeah. Man walks with man, man walks with the environment, man walks with live, um, other non-living things and even animals, um, plants and everything that the universe has for yeah. man to work mm -hmm. with. So, in my painting, all those elements play a particular role to the central figure. figure. Okay. 
So, yeah. and in regards to um, the division between the works, the one that the indoor and those outside, like you said, those outside have to do with hope. You know, you have expectation. And you know when you are expecting, you are in this kind of move. And I would have to digress a little. You know, most times when you're expecting, let me just, you're expecting an alert. Yeah. You are in this mood. That's when MTN or any other network decide to send you a funny text message. You know how it disrupts your mood. Oh, yeah. So when you are in that expectant mood, there is this, should I say, I don't know if maybe there is this subtle communion. Mm. with everything happening mm. around you mm. and the concentration you don't want any distraction to take you away mm. from what you expected and as soon as you expect that there is a, as soon as you receive what you expect you know get what you're expecting there is a sudden switch mm. from that mood yeah. to a mood of fulfillment yeah. And that's where you see that the painting indoor, you see the way you see that majest the majestic pose yeah. the way like Look, um, I think for this moment, yeah. I am fulfilled with what I have yeah. at this moment. Yeah. And my um, time or moment of expectation is gone for now, now because yeah. we know we always, because as life is the comes in level, you know, yeah. if we attain this level, yeah. we know that there's another level we have to conquer. Mm -hmm. So you have, then you know, okay, this moment, I have to enjoy this moment to the fullest. Mm -hmm. And you celebrate with certain things. Some people yeah. don't take wine, but they take coffee. Yeah. Why some take coffee? Yeah. Yeah. And they will say, okay, I think wine should come later. later yeah. But let me take this coffee for for the moment. Yeah, for the moment. Interestingly, so I um um I I think one question I'll now ask is um or two questions. Sorry, two. One is the first one will be in this sort of um um emotional i mean we all go through this right so it's both men and women have this sort of um i expecting some so i i don't i personally don't think that there's any difference in how we live our lives like we all have the same sort of feelings happiness sadness, yeah, gladness yeah. whatever it is and all have different expectations that are sort of fixed into very very similar buckets similar. So my, my, the interesting thing I think for me is why was this a solely woman story, female, female story? And uh, I will have to go, I will have to, like I said before, yeah. it's my story. Yeah. But I decide to, now moving into technicality, yeah. I paint more of women, women. and children. Yeah. You know, and a lot of reviews i've gotten when i when even explaining this to people they're like okay why women why not you yeah so coming back to technicality i'm like paint more of women, women. and children so i decided to tell my story oh, yeah. using that. women okay. and some Women have played a particular, they've played a huge role in my development. First of all, my mom. Yeah. My mom, maybe I would have been um, in another fit. She was the one that um, asked me to study art. Yeah. Because most especially painting, she loves painting. And she asked me, okay, you can draw. I would like, I, I don't know if you would like to be she was, okay she was watching a, um, a program on tv and said i don't know if maybe you like to be like this yeah, guy yeah painting no she didn't call it painting because of her education she said this guy coloring yeah i said wow if you invest in me yeah. i'm going to it's okay to fine it. make inquiries about how to uh, how to go about yeah. it and that was how the journey started yeah. and i was still having at the back of my mind let me just satisfy this woman for one mm. year i took a pre uh, preliminary course yeah and college of education that okay after one year i'll just switch yeah and you just say okay no i can draw now and yeah. i will draw it the way you want yeah. so let me just do what, what I, I want, want to, to do. do and yeah. one year i know it wasn't even up to one year after eight months i said i'm not leaving this field i'm enjoying it i'm wow. going to continue yeah. in it and other women apart from that there are other women that have like made um my career mm -hmm. like 
so impactful the idea the share idea with me um a lot of things so that is another reason why i decided to like tell the, the story so, yeah man. to appreciate yeah. them okay cool so i will now um um shall i say so i think we've sort of established a couple of things one um the impact of women on your life um um the actual telling your own story which is i mean the ups and the downs right yeah. and uh, and then now using channeling this to a more what i think to me looking from the outside in is it's easier to and maybe this is also a question to you if it's easier to humanize this um story this narrative that i are trying to express through um um femininity right so is it do you think it's easier to use women as a vessel to say there's this thing that i feel as a man but it's easier to understand it if it's being told from a feminine point of view because looking at this paintings um to me and seeing um the great sort of degree of loneliness and aloneness that the paintings that were created on the outside so that maybe i'm wrong like i i <laughs> like i'm saying like this is my own interpretation so it'd be also good to understand your interpretation to say do you think that it would have been i mean this is so you use to me the flaws in this entire body of work is the anchor right of each painting and the interrogation or the expression of the mood that you're trying to sort of convey with these paintings uh, is it's it's the that's what anchors it right and i'm thinking do you maybe think that if it was if this was if this was like a mixture of both men and women both or men and, women and it, since it's your own story let me even come do you think that if it was the it was a story being told with um a man as the subject of the paintings you might not have been able to tell the story the way it's being expressed through these paintings or it would be good to sort of get what you're okay you're thinking on that okay on that is yeah um in general view of um 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 uh, men's connection with flowers it tend to tend to move towards when men you see men with flowers more when they are grieving for some mm. that's most even in even when you watch movies that's when you see all oh, it's their profession they are gardeners or they're passing a woman one of or a hand yeah. they want to like gift it to a woman yeah but okay i'm going to get those flowers for myself it's using i know it might be a rare occasions with like getting that emotional mm -hmm. mood emotional mood the feminine subject would give me that emotional mood more than a male character mm -hmm. or a male model that's the reason why i decided to use the um the woman the woman to tell the this story. and like i was explaining to you and we know we we're going to get to that in regards to the drawing mm -hmm. and in regards to um 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 painting um the male figure there is something that do you there's there's a way that when i paint male figures the the responses i do get like they look so stern they look they have ev like the world is against them so me telling a story about how my like um like for example the painting home and alone yeah. you know that painting simply talked about like it showed okay this she's all alone yeah. but this shows that my growing up i was like not allowed to go out to go out yeah and that's i don't i at times i do say maybe it's a plus to be or maybe it's a minus the plus i mean is because building me for studio life that you won't be going out you would spend more time in the studio and the minus to me is like but i think maybe um 
it affected my life so it's like connecting to people talking to people i most time i speak to people through my works but like me seeing somebody when i see people i'm kind of shy i'm just like okay let me i know there are certain places yeah. where are you are i'm like okay yeah. i know someone here is looking at me because he understands uh -huh, we've been it together yeah. so in, in general when i mean like it's like takes me away like from the public yeah so for that is like bringing that part is like oh wow this painting is beautiful i love it but it's talking about me, my part how i wanted to i want to go out yeah. i want to play with kids okay there are certain kids in my street that just weaving yeah. like hi yeah. and my parents get to see me yeah, yeah. just the next thing will be crying yeah wow i'll be punished for that, for that yeah. so now how do i tell okay i have to get a model to get up like in a position to show that she's all alone and maybe that's why you have i know have most paintings of composition yeah. figures together yeah. that's why you have more of this where you have the single figures, figures yeah they are all alone um even in their time of wind yeah. they are alone yeah. their time of reflecting on the or expecting mm. they are still alone, alone. okay cool um there's um there's something that i um, also sort of noticed in every single one of these paintings which is um when you think about so i mean when you look at a lot of paintings you can usually tell what time frame whether it's from the renaissance period present day but looking at every single one of these paintings uh, um it's 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 hard to i mean I'm, and i wanted to also know if it was if that was something you are thinking about it's uh <coughs> difficult to say this painting was from this time period right if you look at every single one of them this is something that you could it could be 1940s Ibadan and 2022 lagos right and i wanted to know if coming into this like work and, and just looking at every or listening rather to everything that you've said um around i mean the importance of what, what i would consider to be um, one your story and the importance of actually reaching out for more than where you are which is like listening to everything you've said has been tied around to okay the fact that there were things that you didn't have things you couldn't do and um and things that you wanted and one there was this period of aloneness so, which is really funny because to me i'm looking at the I, I keep on looking at the outside paint external paintings and thinking about how one the figure is alone in this very big or this large vastness like which is also like the human condition like we're in this world of like 10 billion people and it's very very possible to be alone to be isolated to feel a heavy degree of isolation and this is something that transcends time like since the first human being walked out of a cave and to the time when the sun will die out <laughs> human beings will always feel one the sense of connection and the sense of isolation will always be something that we would have so looking at everything here and looking at the rooms even like looking at the outside of course there will always be nature looking at the dresses there would always be a woman in a village in Okitikupa that would look like this right <laughs> uh? <laughs> so like to me and there will always be a woman in my own village in Agbo that would look like this like on, i would i would hope that we would be able to retain some of this essence right of who of what our identity is as a people but looking at the women in the rooms like when you think about the fact that a woman who has attained some degree of substance or affluence in society um i mean if you look at the picture from the 40s you would see a woman like this in this sort of free-flowing booboo and dress come back to today this lady in the red dress here and think about die lab right the same sort of feeling so i wanted to know if timelessness was something you were trying to capture 
or maybe I've answered it, but I, I, I think it will be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, uh, in terms of the clothes they were putting in, yeah, they were gifted to me by my grandma. Wow, interesting. She, she, um, told me that okay, I traveled. I traveled, and she told. She said that okay. Um, I have some clothes. She's in Lagos. She said, I have some clothes in my room in the village. Mm. I think those clothes will be useful for you. And, okay. Okay. I know because I don't know what I'm, what I'm going to do. Okay, yeah. man. Yeah. And getting there, I was like, see, even the jewelries and stuff, like, oh, wow. Grandma has a lot, a lot here. Mm. And I think this is something that I can use to like um for my models mm-hmm. and uh, so it shows that these clothes were like from a particular time yeah and now fusing it like a mo- the model now is like combining time together to tell a story mm-hmm. or to um project um, a scene or a narrative that any time that can fit in at any time because the essence when i was like detailing this clothes the what was in my head was i need to capture what grandma gave me yeah Interesting. because of that time like as soon as she sees it she was like she was like ah, i think this is one of my because she's someone that she keeps record of things yeah like i think this is one of my, oh, my, my uh my even if you put on a slipper she comes to your house she was yeah. like, ah, i think this i've seen this slipper but well, this yeah. looks like yeah. mine so capturing that time i know if the way you like maybe time i wasn't thinking about timelessness but i was thinking about when grandma used to put on these clothes yeah so that time how how was life mm. then mm. how were things happening how yeah. were people putting on those clothes already like regarded us yeah and now putting them like and call in um the more um, modern time modern painting mm-hmm. like to tell that it shows that and another thing you know they say art is timeless yeah a painting of you can bring out a painting of um 1880 mm-hmm. and it still has the same relevancy today mm-hmm. so you have to like connect time both past and, and present future, and future. think about the future interesting um i think uh, i would now move it would be interesting if there are any questions on this particular so what i would do is i'm, I'm fractioned this into three sections more dif- which is i think we'll finish the first one which is more on the this figurative. Ten, ten pain, the figurative paintings that are being displayed right now and i think it would just be good to have like a question and answer break in between everyone so we're moving towards the abstract stuff which is downstairs at the moment but um, please, the floor is open for anyone who has a question to pose to Mr. Raji here. Let me take none. Perspectives will be interesting to hear. I heard, um, yeah, please. Yes. I had written Your name? Sorry. Rosaline. Okay. Thank you. Rosaline. Yeah. Oh. Nice to meet you, Rosaline. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I've written in to, to observe that. Um, paintings like from like 50 years ago you would see on women in Africa were very um, they're very they, they weren't very beautiful for me because the African woman was always portrayed as some kind of beast of burden she was always working mm. suffering she's carrying a child on her back she's in the sun she's, mm. you know and in the last 10 years you just observe there's more and more focus on the beauty of a woman in Africa which is what struck me, mm. you know, with these. And instead of seeing like loneliness, yes, I see the loneliness, but I also see the woman doing absolutely nothing mm. but being, mm. just being, you know. And that for me was so powerful and beautiful, and it really pulled me. And I wonder, listening to you talk about the women who have influenced your life, I thought to myself, ah, that's where this beauty comes from, because it's completely infused in it. The way women are drawn and you know your expression and i wonder if that's if that's also part if it's a conscious thing that goes into your drawings you know because it's very very uh, uh, predominant it's very obvious you know? yeah um yes ma um um in in regards to um 
um, there, are, there are times that okay, and when I started out, um, I was opportunity to be at a friend's place, and he was talking about it was talking about art, and he called he called someone, and he said, please, um, um, what do you think about Nigerian art? If you want to if you want to buy a particular painting for yourself. Can you just like give me an advice of what you're gonna get? Um, he said, um, like um, women carrying firewood, um, cooking, um, um, women with uh, mother and child. When he was just, uh, I, I, um, and we now said, okay, okay, thank you. That, and he now looked at me and now said, you see, that is what a lot of people have been. This was, this was, um, eleven years ago. This is what people have been conditioned to that this yeah. is what art should be. This is what if you want to get this is what he didn't even see um a man who is a truck pusher. Yeah. It's just like the um I it's not um uh, the um the job description yeah. of an African woman wow. that is what he wants to see. Yeah. So is it this 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 should be a wake up call yeah. for moving yeah. to moving from this kind of mentality or this kind of uh, perception about the African woman and you yeah, you can decide to um, paint a beautiful woman and so okay why do you paint the portraits of a woman I say no I'm celebrating the beauty in African women I say, eh, but I don't know her is the beauty yeah we are celebrating so that was when my perspective changed about um um painting even i wasn't it's not like me then i was still even training and it changed my when i said okay this is what i want to do i want to focus more on um women and the innocence in children i have to tell my story in a particular way that projects the african woman in a good light and the strengths of the African woman. That's an interesting question. Thank you very much.